Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Elena and today I think I'm going to talk about my train analogy. <laughs> I'm sure I've talked about this before, um, but I feel like I need to kind of summarize it. Maybe this will be helpful for someone. I got myself, random note, I got myself a cute little like, cup yesterday. Look, it says like, love yourself. So anyways, maybe that's a message for someone out there. Um, <clears throat> so the train analogy for me, like, I don't know, sometimes in life you feel as if you have may have experienced a ton of detours <laughs> and it's like, man, I have this goal in mind, but I keep getting sidetracked here and there. I always imagine, um, our purpose or our life plan to be like this one long hallway with a bunch of doors on each side and like a main door at the very end of the hallway and i want people to you know be compassionate towards themselves if they happen to go to a side door and have a side quest here and then find themselves feeling as if they're behind in life because you're not um, society likes to tell us that we need to do certain steps here and there right after the other and like have a definitive path and I want people to kind of shake that off and realize that your path is unique to you you had to do what you needed to do in that time frame the way you needed to do it and I find that sometimes these side quests are yes what we can choose to do however they still lead us back down to this main hallway this main door at the end of our our path here, our, our tunnel or whatever. So even if we take side quests, um, we will eventually get back closer to what we're supposed to be doing. Um, and I say this because sometimes, you know, we all have free will and we all come in with contracts with different people and like we have different things, they have free will. So it changes the course of things. So there's multiple timelines that could happen. Hence why sometimes we have what we feel is a detour in order to get to our destination or whatever. Maybe there's certain people we're supposed to meet and <laughs> maybe there's certain things we need to do in order to assist us and gather information, knowledge, experience, so that when we get back into the path that we're supposed to be in, um, in terms of like that hallway, we are more equipped, we're more aware, we have more wisdom, we are more able to appreciate what is meant for us. Um, because that door doesn't move anywhere. That door is destined for you. You are the one that has the key to open that door. No one else does. You do. <laughs> so it's always going to be there. It's always there for you. So I don't want people to start feeling as if they've missed an opportunity because there is no right or wrong answers. It's just knowledge gained um, and moving forward to the same path. Um, I kind of say this. Um, bringing in together like the train analogy where it's like it's almost like when you've finished a cycle in your life um, and you feel it like you're done or like your energy has shifted and you feel like a train or an opportunity is coming into your path it's almost like you get the choice of getting onto that train and moving towards the next stop or whatever um sometimes people feel intimidated and they don't want to get on that train due to fear um, fear of change fear of new things fear of the unknown and i always kind of say like there's always going to be multiple trains that will go to the same spot it's, it's really up to you when to go however however um i always feel like there will be times in your life where you have outgrown certain spaces, certain people, um, and certain phases in your life and your energy has literally shifted into a new uh, space where you may have made more contracts with different types of people in different environments. And even though you already shifted, you know, obviously your energy shifts, but your lower self must make the choice to kind of go with the flow with it. If we become afraid and we end up staying in certain spaces um, and not get on that train, which is fine. 
I just think that it just might feel a little bit more difficult, more resistance because you've already shifted. So maybe you start not being able to see eye to eye with the people around you. Uh, maybe you used to get along with people um, and are friends with them, but then all of a sudden it just feels like it's just no compatibility. Um, it is, or a workplace, you know, like maybe you're just outgrown that phase in your life. It's like something has happened where you already have moved. Now your lower self needs to kind of um, get to that space of going with the flow with it. And there's, there's nothing wrong with staying in that one spot. However, I, I do feel like there will be an increase of resistance and you'll feel it more. Um, but again, there's no wrong answers uh, because the train will always come back and you get to choose. Also with some trains that come in, into your life, sometimes you can't carry certain luggage or baggage that you've had in the past when you kind of go on this new journey. And so I want people to remember that. Maybe there's a certain compartment where that is all you can bring onto the new train. So it's your job to kind of clear out anything that no longer serves you, um, extra baggage, extra weight, when you go onto this new journey, this new way of doing things, getting ready to meet new people. And it's scary, right? Because you haven't yet reached that destination, the next destination, so you have to trust that this force this drain this train will be able to kind of carry you to the next phase safely you know and that, that requires a little bit of trust in yourself so that's kind of my train analogy <laughs> i hope it links together with that hallway analogy um in the sense that like there's multiple trains you can always go on one off one take a different direction um it ultimately will lead you to the the right place at the end of the tunnel. So I hope this video helps someone out there. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning in and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.